I've been working with Alejandro on this uh, for a little while. Crescent is an amazing accomplishment from Alejandro. He's just an amazing uh, developer, and I've really enjoyed getting to know him um, over the course of the channel. And what Alejandro really focuses on is pushing these libraries into like immersive audio and that kind of thing. But Crescent is like a cello quartet that he recorded in a semi-circular arrangement. And he not only recorded them uh, like a like stereo, then he recorded them in ambisonics so you can get 360 degrees of surround with all of this. So it's like the cello players are just kind of like all around you. Here we go. So you need the full version of Contact to run Crescent. And it comes in this uh, beautiful interface. I've got the uh, sustain articulations uh, pulled up. Let's just take a quick listen to this beautiful library. Now, these are all cellos. The four cellos. And it's pretty dry. It's dry because the studio was kind of tight a little bit. So uh, it's just nice and dry. <laughs> and let's see, let's go to the uh, sustains loud. This is a little more aggressive sustains. And it's amazing the range that you can get out of these cellos. And you can see the key range, the, uh, the darker blue is the recorded range, and then the lighter blue or the uh, bluish green uh, are the, are, is the stretch. So he's, he was able to stretch these. And Alejandro has a way of stretching these samples where they actually don't seem very stretched. So this is the uh, flotando. And I'm going to push the dynamics up a little bit. And we've got the modulation matrix that you can uh, adjust. And of course, we've got plenty of effects. Now this is, um, let's see, we don't have much, much reverb here. Let me just pump the reverb up just a little bit. Uh, let's do it without any reverb. So very nice and dry. And having dry samples really allows you to place them in so many different, uh, different rooms and that type of thing. Yeah, and now you can get it big. So that's a little bit of the sustains. Now, what I want to show you is one of the features of Crescent is how Alejandro um, was able to do a polyphonic legato, just, just trying to do some experiments with that. And so I'm going to um, just load up the all the legato core. So let's just go with sustains. And velocity controls the speed of the transitions. <laughs> and I just kind of tend to play sometimes too fast and so it's just getting used to how to 
how this responds. It's just really interesting. Yeah, you know, uh, BF, it does sound a little Baroque, I guess, because of the small uh, size of the cello set. You know, you've got just four cellos, so, and I love the Consordino. And we've got flotando. So let's just check out a couple of more things. Uh, the shorts, it's just a really interesting sound. And imagine having the ability to mix that in, in like surround where you can place those different uh, mics. So you've got the stereo mix and the um, spot mics where you can just have more control over that. I think having the smaller section does something, um, it just makes it so intimate, so close to you. So this is the Bartok Pizzicato. Just that snap, just that attack. And we've got the spiccato. And a velocity controls the dynamics. those uh, the shorts where you can really get uh, dig into it now this is saltando different places are playing you know close to the bridge or it just gives you so many different tones really fun and you can look at the quick load menu you just got a ton of different articulations uh, so this is the sustains uh, free dynamics it's just like they're just kind of just kind of doing doing their own thing and just kind of interacting with each other and I found this to be um, really inspiring to me
and then we can add a little bit of reverb here. You just have to play what, whatever, wherever it, wherever it takes you. Just a very sacred sound to me. Gorgeous, wow. That's just really amazing.